You know, it's been ages since I've been inside a minivan, but here we are. I've made a promise to myself to never ever buy a minivan, but after spending a week with one, I totally understand why large families prefer them. My name is Omar, and today I'm test driving the 2021 Toyota Sienna, otherwise known as the Swagger Wagon. Back in my day, when I was a kid without a driver's license, we had a Honda Odyssey and man, it was a pretty convenient vehicle. We took a lot of road trips in the Odyssey and overall we had some pretty solid times. But then Toyota started this campaign calling the Sienna a swagger wagon and it pissed me off a lot because we didn't have the coolest minivan on the market. They even had this music video with parents rapping and it was the funniest thing ever because they would go, where my mother father's at, trying to be cool. Then it got even crazier in 2015 when Toyota dropped another Swagger Wagon music video with the family called the Newberts, featuring none other than Busta Rhymes, and man, I hated that commercial. It had this really, really annoying little girl going, listen up, mother fathers, don't call this a minivan, because if you do, I'm gonna have to wash your mouth out with soap and water. Oh man, she was so annoying. Look it up on YouTube if you don't believe me. But yeah, I'll admit it, I wanted to ride in a minivan that was a bit cooler and had some swag to it. Well, it's now 2021 and the Toyota Sienna is still around and mother father still be buying this shit. But does the Swagger Wagon still have some swag to it? Let's find out. Today I'll give you a tour of the 2021 Toyota Sienna and then I'll give you my opinion on what I think about it. But before I do, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like, because if you want to be cool and swagalicious, you should do that. Now let's do it like we always do by looking at some of the cool and interesting things that you should know about the 2021 Toyota Sienna because this thing has a lot of swag. First up, we've all seen kick to open tailgates and the Sienna has one as well. Makes sense because this is a family vehicle after all, so it's no surprise to see that here. But the Sienna has taken it a step further with kick to open doors. You just walk up, kick right there and the door opens. That is super cool. It's also very, very convenient if you're a father or mother that's carrying a car seat or your child and your hands are locked up and you just need to open the door so you can just kick it and open it. Not to mention the kick to open door feature is available on both sides of the Sienna and you can also kick to close the door if you want to and if you're feeling a little bit lazy, you don't wanna pull the handle or push the button, you can just kick it and close it. Next up, you can go for a seven seat option or an eight seat option depending on which trim of the Toyota Sienna that you buy. If you go for the seven seat option, you can get it with the super long slide which allows you to slide the captain chairs back and forth a massive 25 inches. So say I'm just sitting in the back seat of the Sienna just hanging out and I want some more leg room or I wanna crush the passenger in the third row, I can just pull the latch and move back. And that is crazy. Look at the amount of legroom I have. This is absolutely insane. That is definitely some next level use of space. If there's nobody sitting in the third row, you can slide the second row all the way back and have crazy amounts of room. What do you need all this room for though? Well, the Sienna offers you an ottoman so you can really just kick back and chill. And not to mention this ottoman is extendable. So you should have no problem really stretching out in the back seat of a Toyota Sienna. Now I gotta be honest, this is something you probably won't even see on some high-end luxury three-row SUVs, so it's cool seeing something luxurious and convenient here in the fairly affordable Toyota Sienna. Next up, rear entertainment is nothing new for large SUVs or minivans, and you can get an entertainment package here in the Sienna for about $1,900, and that will give you an 11.6 inch display right here in the middle, and HDMI input right here so you can hook up your video game system, and a remote control and two wireless headphones. So yeah, hanging out in the backseat of a Toyota Sienna is pretty cool. And if you're a kid, damn, you're really lucky to be living in 2021 with a Toyota Sienna because you can just relax here while your parents drive you around. Oh, and not to mention the rear entertainment package will also add a digital rear view mirror because in regular mode, you might just see a bunch of heads or that 11.6 inch display for the rear entertainment system. So this comes in very handy. I've never really used them before, but in the Sienna, I could definitely see myself using it. Let's get into the pricing details. Pricing for the 2021 Toyota Sienna LE base model starts at $34,460. The limited model that I'm testing here starts at $46,700. As tested here, you're looking at right over $50,000. $50,000 for a minivan, would you spend that kind of money on a minivan? Let me know in the comments. Now let's talk about power for a second. Gone are the days where the Sienna was powered by a V6 engine. You now have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with a hybrid system making a combined 245 horsepower and that's made it to an ECVT transmission. And that makes the new Sienna a full second slower than the outgoing Sienna for a zero to 60 time of 7.7 .7 seconds. And I get it, I guess families don't really care about zero to 60 times. They care more about fuel economy and comfort. 
So being that the Sienna is not only available as a hybrid, you get some outstanding fuel economy for 36 city and 36 highway. You have an 18 gallon tank capacity. I'm averaging after a few days of driving a total of 30.5 miles a gallon. So yeah, that's mind blowingly really, really amazing. Now let's quickly take a look at the exterior design of the 2021 Toyota Sienna. And while minivans are never really that exciting to look at, Toyota makes a solid attempt here to spice things up. Overall, you have a pretty stylish looking vehicle with a very sculpted body. I think Toyota did all they could do to not make this another boring looking minivan. Toyota says the front end of the Sienna was inspired by an iconic Japanese bullet train to appear sleek, speedy, and confident. And I think they've definitely nailed it on the front end. The side profile is nothing to get excited about, but the rear is pretty nice with LED taillights that run into the body, which kind of remind me of Lexus. Now let's talk about cargo capacity before we move on. You can pop the trunk by using the kick to open feature or just use the button right here under the Sienna emblem. And it opens up to 33.5 cubic feet behind the third row, 75.2 behind the second row. And with all the rows folded, you have a massive 101 cubic feet. Now the reason you get so much cargo capacity with the third row and user position is because Toyota has lowered the floor behind the third row. And it doesn't look that appealing with all that plastic, but there's a good reason for that. Besides allowing for 33.5 cubic feet, you can also fold the third row completely flat. You just pull this latch here labeled number one, and you can easily fold the third row completely flat and have a flat cargo area. Pull that latch again, and the third row goes right back into user position. You can kind of do this with just one hand. I'm kind of glad that there is no automatic operation for the folding of the third row. Using this one latch right here is quick and it's very easy. Let's take a seat inside the new Sienna because it is kind of stylish in here. Forget the old days of the boring minivan. The Sienna aims to step it up a notch in terms of quality, style, and packaging. Feel around the cabin and you'll notice that it's made with a lot of soft touch material. There's not much hard plastic in here. You have a bunch of fake leather on the dash here. The only hard plastic that I noticed is this area right deep within the dash. So it's not that bad. There's some hard plastic right here under the center console, but that's really about it. Another cool thing you'll notice is the ample amount of storage all around the Sienna. Toyota does this on the Highlander, but on the Sienna, they've taken the dash and added a bit of a shelf so you can place a bunch of items all around. And that should come in very handy for parents that carry a lot of things around for themselves and their kids. There's also a very convenient large storage area beneath the center console for larger items like purses or bags. Hop in the second row and you're welcome by 40 inches of legroom back here. I'm about six foot tall, that's my seating position. And as you can see, I have plenty and plenty of room. And don't forget, again, you can slide the third row back 25 inches or forward 25 inches, depending on how much you need or you can just rock back and forth just like this. But yeah, leg room for days. My test bottle gives you heated front seats and cooled front seats. And if you go for the platinum, you can get heated rear seats. You do have your own climate control back here. And the second row passengers get manual hater shades to block all the haters hating on them. Now to get into the third row, you just pull this latch right here and the second row slides forward, making a large way for you to get into the third row. Now, once you easily climb inside the third row, you have 38.7 inches of legroom back here. So again, legroom for days. And if you need more, just ask the second row passenger to slide forward some more. Not much excitement once you get back here and get situated. You do have a USB-C port and a USB port on the passenger side, but oddly enough, nothing on the driver's side. I don't know why, but that's how Toyota chose to do it. Oh, and one cool thing to note, you do have hater shades on both sides of the third row. That's something that I've never seen before, but you have them here in the Toyota Sienna because haters gonna hate. Let's talk tech really quick. The gauge cluster is pretty standard, so I'm not even gonna get into it. The Sienna's infotainment system sits in a nine inch touchscreen display, and it isn't as fancy as the ones you see on the new Toyota Venza or the Highlander. And I'm guessing that's because the buyers of the Sienna want something simple, easy to use, nothing too flashy. Nonetheless, you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so that's a plus. Now, before I give you my opinion on how it is to drive the 2021 Toyota Sienna, let me point out a few random things that I'll have to show all of you. You have about 10 usable cup holders, two right here, and then when you open this up, you have two right there, and then you have two in the second row for the second row passengers, obviously, and then when you go into the third row, you have two on each side, two over there, and two over there. And then you have eight bottle holders, two right here on the driver's side door. You have two on the passenger side door. You have one right there, and then you have one right over here. And then you have two right here, like these little straps, I guess, that you can put bottles in, and that's eight bottle holders. So you have a total of 18 places to put your drinks in the Sienna. Here are what the keys look like for the 2021 Toyota Sienna. Nothing in the back. Toyota logo is right here. You don't have remote start, unfortunately, but you can 
open your doors right from the keys. So I guess that's kind of cool. Door open and close sound. And this time let's do a sliding door open and close sound. This is the door opening. Sounds pretty dope. And then let's close it up. There it goes. And now for the door open and close sound for the front doors from the outside and from the inside. Pretty solid. I've counted a total of eight places where you can charge your devices, one being the wireless charger that's right there. That's an awesome placement. And you have a USB port right here for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto projection. You also have a USB and USB-C port right here under the center armrest. Second row passengers also get a USB and USB-C port. And just in case you didn't know, these are charging ports. And again, the third row only gets two in the back. You have a USB port and a USB-C port here on the passenger side. Let's do a quick indicator and horn sound test here on the 2021 Toyota Sienna. Indicator first. Nice, and now for the horn sound, here we go. Oh yeah, pretty solid. Coming through in my swagger wagon. Now that I've given you a tour of the 2021 Toyota Sienna, let me give you my opinion on what I think about this swagger wagon. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we just saw that the Toyota Sienna does still have some swag, but there's one place where it loses some swag and that's under the hood. The responsive 3.5 liter V6 is gone and now the Sienna is only available as a hybrid but obviously minivan drivers don't care about speed or zero to 60 times. I mean, you're getting a combined fuel economy of 36 miles a gallon. And after a few days of driving, I'm still averaging between 30 to 32 miles a gallon. And that's very, very impressive. So the only thing that really matters to minivan buyers is fuel economy and comfort. And the Toyota Sienna has both. Comfort wise, the Sienna does a great job of soaking up bumps and imperfections on the road. It's not luxury car smooth, but it gets the job done. Now, there are two things that I've found a bit annoying. Under hard acceleration, the engine noise comes into the cabin quite a bit. Take a listen. It's pretty harsh, not that nice. And since the Sienna is now a hybrid, there is a bit of a brake fade and that can get a little annoying. But as an overall package, the Toyota Sienna still has some swag that you otherwise probably wouldn't get in a three row SUV or crossover at this price point. So listen up, mother fathers, if you're looking for a minivan, definitely test drive the 2021 Toyota Sienna. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like. You can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Peace. I'm just swagging around in a minivan. I would never buy a minivan, but I totally understand and respect people that do because it is super convenient.